This time of year, we all have candy on the brain, but when you get a little bit older, it's not all about the sheer volume of peanut butter cups and chocolate bars that you can fit into your mouth. Unfortunately, it's about calories too. But in the spirit of that, let's calculate how many calories are in the biggest piece of candy of all time, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. It's science and math coming together, mass hysteria. We all know and love the gooey destroyer of worlds that is the Ghostbusters chosen fate. According to Egon, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, now a marshmallow monstrosity, is 100 feet tall and suitably puffed. Nothing else is said about the creature's physique. To find out how many calories are in this beast, we need to know its mass and therefore its volume. Thankfully, we do have at least one piece of data. The Stay Puff Marshmallow Man is 112.5 feet tall, according to the model builders from Ghostbusters. From here, we can use some basic estimation and some basic math to get the total volume of this mother puss bucket. For our first approximation, let's work with Stay Puff cylinders. Here we have our admittedly poorly drawn Marshmallow Man. To make the math easy, we can assume that he is made out of cylinders. One for his head, one for his body, and one for each of his four limbs. First, let's add what we know. We know that the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man is at least 112.5 feet tall, but from here, I have to assume the rest of his dimensions based on proportions. So now I'm gonna do just that, but make sure to check any of my assumptions to make sure I didn't assume something ridiculous. So here's the math you probably remember. The volume of a cylinder here is equal to pi times the diameter of the circle that makes up that cylinder divided by two, which is the radius squared, that's the area of the circle on top of the cylinder, times the total height of that cylinder. So how much marshmallow do we get? If you add up the volumes of all six cylinders, you get a massive 257,000 cubic feet of marshmallowy goodness, which is a huge amount. It's like having a sphere made out of nothing but marshmallow with a radius of 12 meters, which is a big marshmallow. And if marshmallow, which is very light, has a density of maybe half a gram per milliliter, then the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man in total weighs 3.6 million kilograms. That's a lot. That's the mass of a Saturn V rocket, or incidentally about one third of the mass that New York City produces every day. But considering how many estimations that we made, we should look for other ways to approximate his mass. I found at least one other person who needed to know the answer to this question, because science, but had the benefit of computer modeling software. He came up with 159,000 cubic feet, or about 60% less than we estimated. Sure, we were off by quite a bit here, but nothing like an order of magnitude or a factor of 10. And given how much that we were guessing, I think our first approximation was a good one. Finally, we get to calories. If marshmallows have maybe 160 calories per 50 grams, then all in all, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man contains over 7 billion food calories, or about 30 trillion joules, half the amount of energy that obliterated Hiroshima, Japan. All of this energy would be released over time if you ignited the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man with something like a proton pack, making it a very, Oh, oh, it's a bad idea. Don't, it's a bad idea. And if the population of New York City in 1984 was around 7.2 million people, and each of those people needed around 2,000 food calories per day to live, then the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man could feed all of New York City for, wait, wait, not even, not even one day. In 1984, New York City was eating enough calories that it would need two Stay Puff Marshmallow Men every day just to survive. <laughs> I'm actually surprised, that's, that's, that's a lot. See, you don't need to be afraid of no math. Even simple calculations can let you answer incredibly geeky questions. And I even learned something while doing it. Da -na 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 -na. Because I am. 
Want more science? Check out my last video on the science of sleep paralysis. Subscribe to Nerdist for more videos. If you want Because Science two days earlier than anyone else, head to Vessel at Vessel.com slash Nerdist. And as always, if you have any comments or questions or suggestions for future episodes, you can hit me up in the comment section below. Thanks.